Then from that, we have the other settings. And uh, these ones here are very common, especially when you, when our model now, when we are dealing with the model. Okay, we have our model. We want to introduce some few settings. Let me show you how this works. So let me introduce a simple no, a simple model here. Let me, uh, let's say we have um, a reservoir, of course, junction and this junction. And also we have uh, this link. Okay, so this is our simple model. Okay, so this is our simple network. So what, what we want here, but before that, let me click run and see. Let me click run. Of course, we have some errors. Let me fix them. Okay, so let me run my model again. So if I click run here, you can see for now, I, I don't have any errors, but I want to display like the node IDs and the link IDs. So for, for that, it's quite simple. What I need to do is to right click, then select options. Okay, so the first one here, you can see we have several other options, but the first one here is the node. So if I want to increase like the node size, you can increase it from here. Okay, so if I increase the node size, you can see this is what we're having. Okay, at least now the nodes or the junctions are size are now increased. So let me go back. I want to maintain the three. Then let me select again. Let me select the links. So if you want to increase the link thickness or the link size, you can increase them from here. So if I increase it, you can see now the link uh, thickness. Now we have we have the link thickness, which is increased. So from here, let me select again. Let me take it back to the default value. And again, let me go back here to labels. Of course, we, do, we don't have anything we, could, we can change here. And the other one here is nothing but the notation. So for notations, we have some few options here. So the first one here is a, a link a node IDs, link IDs. But for now, I want to display the node ID. If I click OK, you can see for now we have uh, these values here. So J1 and J2, but the font here is quite small. Uh, I want to increase the font size. Let me take it to 10. Okay, 10. And let me click. Okay, so for now we have the font a size which is uh, a little bit bigger compared to the previous one. Let me select options again. And I want also to, dis to display the link IDs. Okay. So for each link, we have the IDs displayed. So for this link one, we have P1 and also this one, uh, this link two, P2. And the one thing here that you, uh, that you need to keep in mind is that when we started, I said that these are the values that we want. So for junctions, we set here J hyphen and also, so J hyphen. So you can see here J hyphen one, J hyphen two. Okay. So for links or the pipes, we set here like P hyphen. So what Ipanet does, take this value, which is P hyphen, then assign it like hyphen one, hyphen two, just like what we have here, P hyphen one, P hyphen two. Okay, so let's move on. Let me select these options again. And let me select, let me disable this. And I want to display the node values. So the node values and also the link, uh, the link values. Okay. Let me select okay. For now, what we are having here are the calculated values for both uh, junctions and also the uh, links or the pipes. So for now, because we are, if I go here and I select, let me move this here. If I select map, you can see for nodes, let's say I want to display uh, elevations. You can see these are the elevations values. And if I want to display pressure, of course, this is the uh, pressure. And for links, I want to display, uh, let's say velocity. These are the velocities for pipes or links. Okay, but for now, let me disable them. Okay, let me take this here. Let's move forward to uh, symbols. I don't think if we have anything that we can change. Let me select here flow arrows. Of course, we need to know where water is coming and where it's going. And uh, what uh, what you can do, we have some other, some few options here, which is uh, arrow styles. We can select from here. So for now, I want to display the arrow style as open. Okay, you, you can even uh, select as field or fancy, but let me select open here. So uh, flow arrows, then I want to set it to open. If I click OK, you can see now we have uh, this one, these arrows here, but it seems as though the arrows are quite small. Let me increase the size of the arrow at least to uh, eight. 
then this is what we are having. Let me check if we have any other. Of course, the background we, we have talked about this already, so we have nothing here to change. So this is something that I wanted to share with you. But remember, on, on 16th of this month, we have a very special event and it is one to one training session for um, Ipanet, of course, for engineers. So if you are interested, make sure that you go and watch the video in the in the description below. I'll make sure that I include the link to, the, to that announcement video in the description below. So just go there and watch that video. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.